In this video, we will be going over how to export your elevation to a CAD program. For this example, we will be using AutoCAD, but other CAD programs can be used. Before we export a project to CAD, we will be going over CAD parameters. At the top left, click on Tools, Options, and CAD. The first section is the Page Options. You can set the drawing area in inches, whether to include boundary around the page and title block. If you click on the drop down, you can change the layout. Either have pages stacked on separate layers or pages spread out. You will get multiple pages if the elevation you export does not all fit on one page. You can change the text and line color by clicking on the color box. The color panel will open and you can click on another color. Click OK to apply the change. The next section is elevation options. The scaling is for the elevation. You can change the scaling, but not the 12 value. This is a fixed value. In this case, the scaling is a half inch. That means for every 12 inches, it's gonna show half an inch. You can choose to include bubbles on the elevation that reference the cut section details. Checking the Remove Glass Label checkbox, you will make the elevations not include the glass type being used. The sections can be drawn on separate sheets, with marks only, or with no section or section marks. You can also change the text and line color here by clicking on the color box. The next section is the section cuts. This scaling is for the details. You can uncheck to draw labels on bubble cuts. Dimension options. Dimensions can be unchecked. You can also change the unit of measure by clicking on the drop down to either feet and inches, inches in decimal, inches in fraction, or metric. You can uncheck to automatically open a CAD program when the drawing finishes generating. If you click on the top drop down, you can change the file type to DWG, DXF, FCW6, FCW7. Now that we have finished configuring the CAD parameters, click OK to apply the change. Then click on All Projects. Select the project you wish to export. Click on CAD Export under the Report section on the left side. Uncheck any frames you wish to not export. Add perimeter conditions on the right hand side. You can click on the perimeter type that you would like to add at the left, right, top, or bottom. Click Apply to selected frames if you want to apply different parameter conditions to other frames. Or click Apply to all frames. If you want to make a change to CAD parameters, you can click on the CAD parameters button. The change will also be saved to the master. Click OK. Then click on Generate Drawings. Click OK. If this pop-up comes up, click load. If your drawing did not launch automatically, you can find it under the C drive, program files x86, to Michael group, Glazer Studio. The file will be named the name of your project. If you selected for the elevation to be on their own layer, you can turn off the layers by clicking on the home tab. And in the layer section, click on the drop down for the layers and click on the little sun icon. This will freeze the layer. You can do that for all the layers, but the one you're currently on. As you can see, you can unfreeze each layer and move each elevation to the side. Your section details will be at the bottom of the drawing. If that area is completely blank, click on Manage, Run Script, and if it doesn't automatically open to the Glazer Studio folder, you can find it under the C drive, Program Files x86, to Michael Group, Glazer Studio. And select the DWG script file. Click Open, and check the area again. That concludes this video for CAD export. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please call our support line at 480-985-4926.